Hello, good morning, and welcome to Bill Riccardi's weekly Patreon update. I, of course, am Bill Riccardi, a creator and purveyor of fantasy novels. So what do we have in store this week? Well, the Sealy Recipe was released, so we're going to talk a little bit about the cover creation for that and what we did for launch. And the second thing we're going to be talking about is jumping back into book three of the Ihi Saga and what we've done there. And finally, the weekend, what we're going to do with the weekend plans and what have you, uh, and uh, leading up into a full writing schedule next week. Uh, let's start at the start, shall we? The Sealy Recipe is out. It's an Amazon exclusive, but of course you as patrons already have a copy. It was in your box before it was released. So isn't that great? Um, yeah, final versions were out um, kind of on the weekend last week so it's all in your mailbox if you haven't uh, checked it out already or you know figured out oh this crazy author has actually sent me something um and and you know you need it in another format or what have you just contact me and i'll of course send that out to you uh my very loyal patrons um but i believe everyone did get their copy so the next bit was how did this book come about um it used to be a romance, uh, and it was almost all romantically oriented. It was called My Foxy Boyfriend. It was kind of a comedic romance type of thing. But it got a little too serious for that. The The tone of the whole thing went very much the way of mythic fantasy, um, where there, there were more dire consequences than, than perhaps a romance should have. Um, where the plot gets a little bit more serious than maybe a romance's plot should get, it definitely drifted into the realm of mythic fantasy, so the cover had to change. And and my, my fans told me this, and the people who were giving me feedback on covers told me this. They said, you can't use this cover. Um, the, the old cover was definitely a romance cover. The old, old cover was an anime cover. It was, it was a light novel, if you're familiar with light novels. Uh, but then it went more into Western romance, Finally, you know, the final drafts, the final versions were absolutely mythic fantasy. Uh, with romantic elements, of course. You know, we didn't completely ditch that. Um, but the, the mythic fantasy aspects of it uh, were definitely heaviest, so we had to go with a mythic fantasy cover. First time assembling one of those covers for me, usually, of course, I just order out for art. You know, and, and then I, I make something out of that art. Uh, not this time. This time I went with Deposit Photos, uh, which is a licensed uh, clip art place that has a lot of professional photographs, a lot of professional drawings, and I did a composite. Um, now, now this was new to me, but because of my work with making all these other covers, uh, my skill with GIMP, which is the uh, graphic image um, manipulation program, an open source version of Photoshop, basically. Um, my prowess with that has allowed me to create actually quite a good cover um, according to the fans who have already seen it. Uh, they said, yeah, we like it. It fits in with the genre, uh, but gives its own little twist. And I was like, perfect, great. So the Seal the Recipe is out. It's got a beautiful cover, um, which I, I worked my butt off for. And of course, if you're a patron, you already have it. But tell your friends. And if you're not a patron, you can go pick it up. It's an Amazon exclusive. It's also available on Kindle Unlimited. And... That will be that. We will speak no more of that. Uh, if, if you want some information, it's on the website, uh, BillRiccardi.com, and it's also on Amazon. Just search for The Sealy Recipe. That's it. Uh, let's talk more about Ihi Saga, book three. I am rolling with that. Uh, as soon as I finished launch of the Mythic Fantasy book, I was back in my Urban Fantasy head, and we got a lot done. As I mentioned before, the book opens with a couple action scenes, moves into the more social aspects of things. Now we're wrapping up the social side of things. Um, we, we, we had a grand meeting where all of the main characters from, oh, protagonist characters from books one and two got to meet each other. A, a homecoming scene. And it was great, you know. Um, and we got to see what happened in the months that intervened because, of course, a lot of these characters were on the run. Um, a lot of these characters went underground. So so we got to see a little bit more about what happened there. But we left some mysteries as well, which will be addressed later in the book. Um, we get to talk about social consequences. Um, not everything turns up roses for Lucas and Isidore. Um, 
it's not that you know these people who love him stopped loving him it's that these people have real lives and there are consequences for involving people in things like violence and consequences for involving people in kind of earth-shattering events right and we actually deal with those consequences in this book and part of that reunion cycle uh is coming to terms with the reality of the situation uh then of course um two of his oldest friends uh, drag him aside and uh, give him even more news that he has to cope with. And uh, their encounter is what I have just finished writing. Um, the next step then is going to be a training sequence, and I start that today. We're right back into the action. We go from training sequence over to uh, a discovery of something new that they have to check out. Um to further along the plot that we have been developing. Uh, the, the world has gone somewhat nuts, as you know, um, after the assassination of so many of uh, Ihi's representatives. Uh, and we get to see uh, more of the aftermath of that, and we get to delve more into why all of this is happening and what the long-term goals of the bad guys and bad girls are. So there you go. Um, that's what I'll be writing is the training sequence that leads into um, the next action scene. And it's been really enjoyable writing so far. Uh, we are on schedule for see, January, February, March, like a late March, maybe early April release. I'm aiming for late March. Um, I'm hoping to have all of the primary stuff written uh, by early March and start the resting process immediately. Uh, start the review process two to three weeks later. Um, uh, actually, just give it to my beta readers immediately. Um, and um, I won't touch it for another two weeks. And then a very short cycle uh, to get all of that into shape. Uh, I'll have the cover already created and, and what have you. And we'll try to go into it by late March, if not late March, early April. So there you go. That's it for me, folks. The weekend, the weekend is going to be... Probably more writing under my pen name. Uh, I don't have another project under my full name, at least nothing as close to being done as the Sealy recipe. Um, so uh, I'll probably be I'll probably do, be doing some writing under my pen name, advancing that. Uh, that that's an interesting tale for another video. Um, but other than that, some relaxation. Book launches are a little bit stressful. So uh, a little bit of relaxation, a little bit of writing under the pen name, and for the most part, enjoying the much better weather we have here in Belfast. Uh, it's actually in double-digit Celsius temperatures, finally. Um, and uh, I don't know how long it's going to last, but maybe I'll get out there and enjoy some of the nice weather. Uh, we say nice weather, it's raining like cats and dogs, but that's, that's Belfast for you. I hope wherever you are, you're safe. Um, I, I, I hope you're, you're warm if you need to be warm and cool if you need to be cool, but whatever you do, take care of yourself, go, go get a good book like, you know, the Sealy Recipe, read it, relax, and have fun this weekend. Um, we will, uh, catch you next week and thank you so much.